And I think I got something good. I better not screw it up with the lyrics. That sort of hypocrisy of people that are obsessed about. He goes, that sign my life away is not about me, is it? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Gavin from Bush, answering some questions about some song lyrics that I am responsible for. Mm -hmm. Starting with everything zen. Lady Ox hell for the century. A million dollars a stake. As you search for your damn god. And you fake where the saints. First off, um, Rain Dogs, I, I guess, was just knowing the Tom Waits Rain Dogs album is such a strong word for me. And I love Tom Waits, so I, that was in my head. And, um, and the howl is Allen Ginsberg, who's another serious uh, inspiration for me. So one of his fav most famous poems is Howl. So Rain Dogs Howl for the Century kind of got my two muses in there. Uh, and then A Million Dollars a Stake. You know, I was real poor at that time, dirt poor. And then the, the world of, of money and entitlement and all those things just seemed so far away. And that's what that million dollars a stake um, as you search for your demigod, you fake with a saint. That was to do with people that espouse, you know, spiritual values and and lean certain ways, and then they behave like douchebags in another area of their lives. So it was that sort of hypocrisy of people that are obsessed about um, self-help books or self-improvement. So that's that jam-packed verse uh, from Machine Head. The uh, it's really funny when you break down lyrics. Got a machine head, better than the rest green to red machine head <laughs> just the idea of, uh, of machine head always was about about freeing yourself about sort of losing your ego and just and just letting rip and uh, I remember writing the riff and I had the riff before I had the final song and walk around Hyde Park in England with a riff thinking I think I got something good I better not screw it up with the lyric Um, from the sound of winter, Medusa, obviously uh, Judas, these figures in uh, from from history that that uh, conjure up deception and and backstabbing, but um, but then open arms and fingertips because I always like to try and bring things around. So from that sort of negative beginning, open arms and fingertips, love bites, um, and recompense, and I'll be with you till the end is when it's kind of separating the, the bad people you've been with in your life and just concentrating on the good people in your life. In Glycerin, just the, it's a cyn cynical world and Strawberry Fields is just a, obviously a Beatles reference because when people think of that song it makes them happy and it elevates you and it's it lifts you up, so it, for me it just comes up, it's like a, a soft pillow or something. Most of my lyrics and, and most of the songs I've ever written are usually about just uh, rising up against struggle and what you do within problems like the human condition and how we can screw up and how we can make up for it and what we can escape from and what we can win. Really Fly, yeah, the Indian summer bit, it's, it's just all, the Indian summer is obviously a, 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 a fake, a, it's a was it a fake summer or sort of like a something that happens when it comes out of turn and signing my life away obviously um, as you're coming up through your career and things go better you uh, you renegotiate or you look at what you signed when you first began and I guess I must have been made aware that I signed everything away before I uh, got successful and um, so somehow that bled into the lyrics weirdly enough my first manager when I presented that song to him and he heard it he goes that sign my life away is not about me is it and I was like no I loved him so he was he was great so it wasn't about him it just was the general feeling of the time mm -hmm. 